Hello everyone and welcome to my review of the Tough Built 165 foot laser measurer. The Tough Built laser measurer comes in a colorful box. There's a lot of good information on it too and QR codes just about everywhere you look. But I can see where the printed information would be really handy if you're trying to make a decision between this measurer and someone else's. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Pull here. Ah, there's the soft case for it. And there's the device itself. And look, there's already a measurement being made on it. Oh, and batteries, two of them. How in the world can just two double-A batteries run a class 2 laser it's incredible and a lanyard too that's a good deal and this is the QR code that you get the manual at ah that just comes off and let's install the batteries there's one double-A and there's the other one cap goes back on very simply and easily so far I'm impressed very nice everything is tight and it turns on that's great a good sign for things to come and let's put that lanyard in ah good thing I've threaded a few needles in my time and let's loop the grab loop through the little loop bada bing bada boom we have a lanyard attached and it feels pretty good too I mean I don't think it's gonna fall off anytime soon and here's our soft case very nice fit and velcro closure and we also have a belt loop it looks like it's probably about an inch and a half wide there nice one of the options for accessing the instructions for the laser measurer is to scan the QR code that is printed on the hard copy that is included inside of the box you will need an internet connection via your home router or your mobile devices data plan this online manual is well written and comprehensive and ultimately indispensable. Initially you may find it difficult to read because the print size is so small but you can use your fingers to pinch and zoom. My mobile device has a 6 inch screen so I found it somewhat easier to switch to the horizontal view. When you do this the hand gestures will still work but you get to see pages that are opposite from each other or two pages at a time. For desktops using a browser is the easiest way to read these instructions and because the document is in PDF format you can download it and save it to your hard drive and a full-size screen makes reading easier on the eyes. There's a three-year limited warranty on the product and the red QR code will take you to the web page where you can register your new laser measurer. I've turned the registration page sideways a little bit so that we can make it bigger. Be sure to fill all this out so that you'll be eligible for your warranty. Hopefully you'll never need it, but here's how it reads. Hmm, I wonder if defects in material and workmanship applies to the app also. Then give your consent and push the submit button. On each narrow side of the box is a QR code. They each contain a link to the same destination. Although one says watch video and the other one says download app. The destination does contain links to the apps one for the Apple users and one for Android users. And there's a lot of nice pictures that describe how the app should work on your mobile device. 
There's also a link to the user's manual. My mobile device happens to be an Android phone, so we're going to go to the Google Play Store to get our app. The app is called Tough Built Connect, and it's very simple and easy to download and install. Choose Skip to get past the clickbait and start the app. And from here you register your device and then log in. Hooking up the Bluetooth connection to your mobile device and the app is a little different than other devices that I've connected using Bluetooth. I began by turning both devices on. Then in my phone's Bluetooth devices under Available Devices, I spotted the Tough Built and entered in the suggested password of 0000. But the Tough Built was still listed under My Available Devices, so I tried the other number. It was still listed as available, so I decided to open up the app. And lo and behold, it showed that I was indeed connected. After completing the pairing process, I discovered that the best way to use the laser measuring app was to start the app first and then turn on the laser measuring device. It worked every time and I got it. So after doing all that work and getting the two devices paired up, I was excited to use the app. So into the app we go. I uh, choose a mode and the device or my mobile device is saying awaiting mode from device. And it looks like selecting mode from the measuring device doesn't seem to be working. And they spelt measurement wrong too. Oh well. Wow, that is disappointing. Well, maybe there'll be an update to the app and they'll fix that. I've decided to use the Tough Built Laser Measurer without the app. I need to know the height of this truck camper so that I can build a shelter for it that will be high enough. I've chosen the two point height mode. My first beam will be the upper trace of the angle. Here you can see where I have aimed the laser, just below that little roof ridge. We will push the action button to record that measurement. Next we are prompted to aim the lower trace. I have aimed the laser at the bottom of this support leg. This zoomed in picture does not show the dot very well, but it is there and the laser measurer records that ray also. So we have our two points measured and the laser measurer calculates nine foot eight and one quarter inches as the height. The measurer says that we are about 20 foot away from the camper, so we are well within the range of the 160 foot specified by Tough Built. And I only chose that distance because that was the closest that I could get to that camper and get the entire camper into the picture frame. I have suspended a tape measure from the top of my camper's rain gutter down to the bottom of this support leg. As you can see, it measures about nine feet and ten and a half inches. The hook end of the tape is about an inch higher than where we shot the first point of the laser. And there's a possible half inch error at the bottom of the tape. That's due to the curve I had to put into it. That puts the two measurements within three quarters of an inch of each other. This concludes my review of the Tough Built 165 foot laser measurer and I hope that you found my review helpful.